Hey guys, Dee from Dee's Divine Guidance here for the sign of Scorpio. Uh, the monthly readings are up, so you can check that out on the channel. Uh, but I want to do this spread today about what is blocking your intuition. I recently ran into somebody and, you know, they told me how much they're struggling, that they just cannot connect. Um, and I also was inspired because I have a workshop coming up on the 31st of March for a three hour, possibly a little bit more to activate your third eye and your crown chakra to really get you to connect to your intuition as well as your spirit guide during this whole thing. Um, it's going to be, we're going to cover a lot of stuff so you can check it out in the description box below as well as in the comments. Um, but we're going to go over, you know, how you connect. We're going to activate, we're going to do some exercises so that you can feel what it is. We're going to go over the clairs. We're going to, we're going to do a lot within the session and you're also going to get the recording so that you'll have it, um, to go forward with. Okay. Um, to use it, to activate yourself to the next level each time. But for now, let's see what's blocking your intuition. All right. One more card, please. There it is. Wow, guys, you got like all these cards were cards I have not seen before. And I only have two readings left. So awesome. All right. So the first card you have over here is romance. So you possibly for you guys and remember, this is general reading. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I feel like with this romance card, it might be that you're wrapped up in your relationship, that you're so like um, involved and, you know, which you should be. But I, I feel like you're not giving yourself the time away from your relationship to be independent and to work on you. I feel like it's all about them and what they want and, and doing it together and together and together, together, together. So... Um, that could be for some of you. Another way that this card could be read is that you might be a little bit scared as to your partner and how they're going to, how they, how there's two things they're telling me. So you might be a little bit scared how your partner is going to take this news or take you opening up or take you connecting to your intuition or you dabbling in spirituality. That's one thing. The second thing is you might be scared of your future partner. If you're not with somebody, you could be scared as to, well, if I go down this route, you know, so many people are unawakened that who am I going to find and there's no need to worry about that all right you also have choose a new direction so some of you are definitely um you know in a space where it's not good and I feel like you're stuck and it's like you need to just turn around and go the other way or make a left or make a right excuse me make a right um but choose a different direction choose a new direction so something isn't suiting you. So you got to figure out what that is because whatever that is, it's holding you down. It's like weighing you down. <clears throat> so it's time to choose a new direction. And then you have the opportunity card. So there's opportunities around you. It's just that you're being weighed down. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat today. Um, and that romance card. So the thoughts and the decisions are weighing you down. But there are opportunities around you to connect. The, your spirit guides are there. The angels are there. Your, your loved ones are sending you messages and signals. But you just, you're not seeing them because you're being weighed down by these other two things over here. All right, so over here, you've got the balance card as well. So divine teachers. So you want to make sure that you have the balance in your life. You want to make sure that you have time for your partners and your relationships as well as time for you independently so that you can continue to work on yourself and strengthen your intuition. Your intuition just doesn't like come on and then go off. It, it's, it's, a, it's, an, it's, like a, um, it's like a muscle that you have to exercise and keep working it out so that it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and you become more aware of what everything feels like and you start to see patterns and, and all that stuff. So you've got to find the balance in your life to make the time for that. And the next card you have to go along with that is discipline. So master teacher, it says. <clears throat> so you've got to be disciplined enough to take that time to work on that intuition. And, you know, takes a, it takes a little bit in the beginning, but then it gets easier as you go along and as you make that muscle or your chakra, or whatever you want to call it, like stronger. So you've got to be disciplined, though, to take the action to, to do that. And then you've got the physical body, and it's Gaia. So 
you've got to make sure that you're nurturing yourself as well. Putting good things into your body. I stopped, they're telling me to tell you this. I haven't said this in one of the other videos, but I, I stopped eating sugar because I knew that sugar, when I ate it, it gave me like, um, I could feel it affecting my brain and I wasn't as clear. And as soon as I stopped eating sugar, I became so clear and that every time I want to eat sugar, because I do, I have a box of cookies in there that I want to eat. And I'm like, no, because I don't want to ruin my connection. My connection is more important to me than the box of cookies. So take care of your physical body. Take care of your mind as well. All right. So that is what I have for you guys of why, you know, why your intuition is being blocked. If you feel that, if you're struggling with trying to connect, um, that's what I have for you. I hope it resonates with you. Please let me know in the comments below if it did resonate and how it did. And also let me know if you have any questions on connecting with your intuition below. I want to answer them. I want to help you out. You know, my goal is to just have everybody do what I do. You know, I really just want a bunch of us, all of us out there, you know, raising our vibrations, connecting with the universe and, and spreading all of that around because we need it. We need it desperately. So, um, yeah, so check out the monthlies and hopefully I see you in the workshop. Again, the link is in the description or in the comments or both. And, um, yeah, so I will see you guys next month. Much love to you. Bye.